and delivers. Morgan, a smash up the middle, base hit to center. Here comes Gomez, around third, a throw, and the Brewers win. What is good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, here to give you a new series on opening day of the MLB 2017 season. Um, you know what we're going with. We're going with the hometown Brewers. Uh, man, we're in a division that's pretty tough right now. We got the Cubs. We got the Cardinals, who seemingly are always good. The Cubs are obviously coming off a World Series win. So uh, we got an uphill battle to climb. You know, we're going to try to compete. Um, honestly, in real life, we're rebuilding. But honestly, I don't I don't see it as rebuilding just because no, no team wants to go into a season just saying, let's just rebuild and lose. They want to win. So... I get the whole tanking thing in other sports like the NBA really really has a problem with tanking and you know in baseball I just don't believe in it just because you know I grew up playing baseball so you always want to be good um, so let's get into this man GM contracts you're gonna turn that off because we always gonna be with the Brewers um, let's just get into this uh, we're gonna manually manage everything um, I want complete control over everything so let's see we're gonna show off in spring training here um, let's just look at the team right away. Um, let's start with uh, position players. So behind the plate, we have Andrew Suzak, who's new. Uh, Jet Bandy's pretty new too. So uh, they're decent catchers, both 27 years old. So I'm just looking for them to hold it down. Uh, we have Jacob Nottingham. Um, he's a prospect. Uh, we acquired him in trade. So uh, for these rosters, actually, before I get into more of the roster. Um, I got these out of the vault. They're, there's a pretty good set. It's the top 15 prospects in the MLB for each team. So, um, you know, I didn't I didn't want to wait for the OSFM rosters. If you don't know what the OSFM rosters are, uh, Operation Sports, uh, a team there, they, they do a hell of a job putting together a roster with all of the minor league players for every organization. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's worth the wait, but I kind of wanted to line up with opening day. Uh, just so I can get a feel for, you know, who's doing good in real life, compare it. And, you know, I like to keep things realistic, so I'm not going to do any unrealistic trades. Um, we'll get into who I wanted to get rid of, though, um, through, as I go through this roster. So first baseman here, uh, we have Eric Thames. Uh, this was actually the guy that he was in the Korean League, and this man hit like 120-something home runs in three seasons and came back to the MLB, and the Brewers signed him. So I'm excited because, I mean, he's got some power. Look at him. He's got 78 versus right-handers, 63 versus left-handers. I mean, he's going to be pretty good. He bats left-handed. So the Brewers, we haven't really had a power bat from the left side since Prince Fielder, to be honest. And he plays the same position as him, uh, first base. So he's going to be starting in the MLB. Let's move this guy to the MLB. Uh, let's see. Somebody's on the active roster who's not going to be. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be Rivera. He's going to be removed. Well, let's just take let's take a look because we I know MLB starts out in spring training. And we got some pretty sorry players on the ro active roster. Look at these guys on here. 55, you're not going to be on the active roster. So let's remove him from 40 man. Go back to Aaron, Eric Thames. Add him. And move him up. So first baseman is kind of locked down. Uh, second base. Uh, so really, this kind of goes with shortstop here too as well. We got Jonathan VR, who's actually in real life going to be playing second base. So uh, he's going to just be listed as a shortstop, but he's going to be starting second base. Uh, Orlando Orlando Arcia, he was our top prospect uh, before last year. Um, he's pretty solid. I mean, he's got he's got pretty good defense. Um, that's what he's known for. Uh, obviously, his hitting's got to get better. Um, but you know, I'm going to be patient with him. He's got a potential still. So I mean, he's. He's going to get better. He's going to get better. Uh, John the VR, uh, we tried to sign him to a contract in this offseason. Uh, it looks like he declined it, but look at that speed. I mean, that man's 98 speed, 99 stealing, 99 uh, base running aggressiveness. So we're going to try to keep him. I mean, he's going to be our leadoff hitter, and he's, he's going to be on our team, and we're going to make sure we lock him up. So that's our second baseman here. Scooter Jeanette, actually, you know, we traded him to the – actually, we released him, and he got picked up by the Reds. So – I'm just going to trade him to the Reds for just like a low prospect just to like even it out. 
Um, third baseman Travis Shaw, who actually signed here in the offseason from the Red Sox. Uh, he's a lefty. Um, he's got some power, too, to be honest. He's got a uh, 69 first lefty, which is pretty rare, to be honest. I mean, usually left-handers have power against right-handers and not the opposite way. So we're looking for him to – we're going to bat him like fifth or sixth. And who knows what happens. Uh, he, he might end up being two or three. Um, so I like him in the lineup. Uh, outfield, so obviously Ryan Braun. Uh, I live in Wisconsin, so I've seen the reception that we've given Ryan Braun. And honestly, he was our hero for the last 10 years. But when that HGH stuff came out, and he lied to Aaron Rodgers. I mean, everybody, everybody in Wisconsin loves Aaron Rodgers. So if you lie to Aaron Rodgers, you got to get out, to be honest. So, I mean, he's 33. Um, I don't like him personally. I mean, I used to, but I just can't respect somebody that just lies like that. So, um, and, and especially in the public eye. I mean, it's one thing to lie but and say you're sorry, but he lied to Aaron Rodgers. I mean, this is a guy that you were opening up restaurants with hanging with in the offseason going to bucks games and things like that so you know we're we're gonna get rid of them to be honest uh it's just a matter of when uh i know that yasiel puig deal was going on in the offs actually during the season last year before the deadline and it was close to getting done i uh, apparently it's close to getting done and that didn't get done so i'm entertaining that deal yasiel puig and another prospect for ryan braun um so he's in left field to start the season. Keon Broxton, who actually um, had a pretty good season last year, to be honest. Like he he came up in late in the year. Uh, he only hit 242, but that's kind of like you know a hidden stat there. I mean, he came in towards the end of the season. He was raking. So I like him in center field. He's got some speed. Uh, Lewis Brinson. He's actually the guy that we got in the deal for Luke Croy, um, and he's our top prospect in our organization. Um, and he's actually projected by MLB.com to make it to the majors in 2017. So we'll see how he pans out. He's not going to be an A ball. He's going to be probably in double A. Um, and then eventually move it up to triple A. Uh, New and Heist is going to back up in the outfield. He's going to be everybody's backup pretty much. Uh, Domingo Santana's in right field. Uh, he's a pretty good player. He's only 24. Uh, you know, his problem is just that look at his vision. It's 21. Um, and he has a pretty good bat, to be honest. Like, I I hit pretty good with him. Um, but it's sometimes difficult to hit with him because that PCI is so small. So, you, I mean, he strikes out a lot, misses a lot of good pitches. Um, so we'll see how he goes. Uh, Brett Phillips is actually one of the guys we acquired in a trade as well. Um, he's one of our, I guess he's a top prospect. Uh, MLB.com doesn't really have, a, have him as a top prospect. But he's 22. He's got B potential. Um, he was actually projected to do a lot better in 2016. Uh, he didn't do as well, so that's why you know MLB.com is not giving him that respect. Um, Corey Ray. Now this guy I'm excited about too. He is the guy that we drafted. Uh, I believe he went to Illinois, or actually went to Louisville. He was born in Illinois. Um, he's pretty good. He hits left, throws left. He's pretty good. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well he develops as well. Um, so that's it for our positional players. Let's look at our rotation here. Um, so Junior Guerra, he's he had a pretty good season last year. Um, let's see what he. I forgot the. Let's see. He went nine and three. I mean that's pretty good. Um, so he's getting um, the start on opening day for sure. Uh, he's obviously our best pitcher. Um, Zach Davies is obviously the second best pitcher. I think those two are pretty much locked into one two unless we trade for a top top flight pitcher. Um, Chase Anderson, uh, all these guys, Chase Anderson, Willie Peralta, Matt Garza, and Taylor Jungman, and uh, Jimmy Nelson, uh, they're kind of on the border of losing their spot in the rotation just because, you know, they're not great. Uh, they're just average, pretty much. Um, I would like to see Jimmy Nelson in the lineup, in the starting rotation, I'm sorry. And... Just sat probably at five. Matt Garza, I'm not a big fan of. We paid him in the offseason a couple years ago, a few years ago. I think he's got one more year left on his contract. That he has the, I mean, besides him and Braun, I mean, I think they're the two highest on our team. Uh, our bullpen, let's look at this. Our bullpen isn't very good. Honestly, I'm going to try to boost that. Um, and with MLB The Show, um, I find that computer teams don't sign free agents, so I'm not going to go that route. I'm not going to sign free agents. 
um, at least not during the season. Unless I see computer teams starting to pick people up, I'll start to dig at it. But uh, Corey Neville, uh, he's our best reliever. Uh, Carlos Torres, second best. Uh, we do have uh, Feliz here as our closer. So um, I just hope that our starting pitchers can hold it down. Uh, we have a couple of guys. Joe Jabba Chamberlain isn't going to be on our team. He got released in real life, so I'm going to release him. Um, besides that, you know, actually, let's look at our prospect pitchers here. So Josh Hatter, he, he's actually projected to be in the major leagues this year as well. So I want to see him develop a little bit, and maybe he'll move up. He's only a 69 overall right now. A potential, though, so that's exciting. Uh, these three guys, uh, Jorge Lopez, Brandon Woodruff, and Luis Ortiz. Uh, these guys are actually came over in trade as well. Um, probably with Ortiz being the best. Um, we'll see though how these guys develop. Um, I'm excited for this season. Hit subscribe and we'll be back for the next episode. Uh, I'm going to just sim spring training. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to play spring training because I need to get a feel for some of these players. Um, our sliders we're going to use, we're going to use Armour and Sword and Marino's sliders. Uh, I'm going to leave, leave a link in the description for those. Uh, just follow us closely. Uh, we're going to try to make the playoffs, to be honest. We're going to try to compete. Um, and I'm going to make it difficult on myself. I'm not going to play on veter or I'm not going to play on All-Star. I'm going to play on Hall of Fame. Uh, make it a little challenging. Uh, so, because, you know, in real life, baseball is challenging. So, we're going to try to make it. But it's all right. We're going to compete. And honestly, stay tuned. Uh, let me know what I should do with Braun, to be honest. Let me know. Because I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not even sure who I want to trade him to. If I want to get Puig. I know the Braves wanted him. He has a no trade clause in real life. So I want to make this a realistic deal. Something that he would probably take. He would probably want to go to a warm weather team. Or go to a team that's competing. So um, let me know in the description what I should do with Braun. Other than that, peace.